episode of The Friendship Stop. We're your hosts for today's show. I'm Latavia. And I'm Isarius. In our show, we want to highlight the students and the work of our audio video production class at Friendship High School. So let's get things started with a look at some of the fun projects we've completed. sophomore through seniors uh, automotive basics is the first year auto one is the second year and auto two is the third year uh, the first year class is to get, make sure that they are familiar with the uh, basic operations and concepts of the eight major vehicle systems your engine transmission brakes steering suspension heating air conditioning and uh, just the interior of the vehicle just basic understanding of how everything operates we start off with the basics at year one with everything. Um, by their second year, once they're into Auto One, we start to dive more into the academic side of it, more of the hows and the whys, and the more intimate understandings of each system that we work with. And by the time we get through with Auto One and advance into Auto Two, Auto Two is run exactly like a shop environment would be. They are given a, a repair order and a set of keys. They are told to go get the car and repair the vehicle. And in Auto Two, I'm more of a facilitator than I am a teacher. I'm just there to kind of guide more than I am teach. Store two of my trucks, and uh, when you do it yourself, it's a lot cheaper than having a shop do it, and uh, it just costs a lot less. And the experience is good if you if you break down and you can't afford a shop or a tow truck or something like that. Just wondered how they balance the tires, and it was pretty fun to learn how to do that.
Something new we are currently learning is how to find, develop, capture, and edit feature stories, and we want to show them off. So let's start with an in-depth look at what happens at the Friendship High Psychology class. Chris, here with? Caleb, I'm a uh, sophomore and I'm in psychology. What are some challenges in your class? Um, sometimes I don't understand the information that I'm given, and it's kind of like a little bit of confusing because, you know, it's psychology and you're learning about, like, the human brain and all that. But once you get onto it, it's really easy to understand. How do you maintain your work? Um, I try to get my work done, like, on time so that I'm caught up with everything else in my class. Inherited and the environment. And the researchers also study adopted children and their resemblance to their biological parents to infer their inheritance as well. Okay, so they look at... What is something interesting that you've learned in this class? Um, something interesting I've learned is uh, it's about PTSD, like how it affects like the brain and like how it affects like the human all itself because of war. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Do you think catching a flag is difficult? What about playing an instrument? Well, these students can throw a flag and play a tune with ease. Let's take a look at the Friendship High Color Guard and Band. You know, in 2020, it's very different. A lot of um, what we do with Color Guard um, is very visual. And so with this year, especially being that we can't be within six feet, um, we can't, uh, another thing that we will usually do is, excuse me, kind of adjust the flagpole. Like if we go up and it's in the wrong position, we can't do that, obviously, because we can't be within six feet. Um, something else that we typically do with Color Guard is we teach um, facing. We don't teach mirroring because if we do, then we teach the skill backwards. So, um, if we, if you know, this year if we've had to turn around, it's harder because we can't be within six feet. We also have a mask on. We're also facing the other direction. So, um, it's it's definitely been a challenging year, but um, you know, the the same we encounter the same things every year. You know, people uh, work hard, and, and it's it's always fun to see the progress and the change over the semester and over the year. I've developed my own educational philosophy to where uh, it's really my goal to help my students become better people first. And I use music to do that. Uh, some people use other things, you know, coaching or whatever, but for me it's using music to help my students just become better people first. Because I know that when they become better people, they'll become better musicians in spite of themselves. overall goal for this year is to come out on the other side of this COVID situation, helping everybody to understand that, number one, we're going to be better for it, even though it's different. Different is not always bad. Different is just different, and we may have to do things a little bit differently, but we're still going to make music the way we always have, and we're going to love each other and have a great band family while we do it. Do you struggle to pick out an outfit in the morning? Well, we've gathered a group of fashion knowledgeable students to, to tell you what's hot and what's not. Here's our first edition of What's Poppin'. Welcome to our first edition of What's Poppin'. I'm your host, Alexis, and I'm here with my panelists. Ashley. Azarius. Latavia. Lexi. Getting our take on the world of fashion. So, um, <laughs> what influences your fashion, fashion choices, choices, basically? Um, one thing that kind of influenced my fashion choices is wearing things that are, you know, um, not really clothes that are more or less dark and kind of gloomy, but more or less um, colors that, I guess, portray happiness and things that are like, you know, kind of fun. Like you always see me wearing Hawaiian shirts or things with nice and pretty patterns and flowers on it just to kind of like show my personality off a little bit. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
Um, I usually wear like comfortable clothes. Like I usually, I'm always wearing a sweater or jeans or sweatpants um, because I like to be comfortable. So yeah, yeah. I always <laughs> wear like clothes, like simple pants, shorts, long sleeve, short sleeve. Nothing really too too fancy. Just something that makes me feel comfortable, but also kind of cute at the same time. I like the like the cowgirl look a lot. I don't typically wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, but it is something that if I want to dress cute. I feel like the cowgirl look is really um, something that came into style lately, and I think it's very, very big, bigger than it used to be. And I guess that and the hot Cheeto girl look, because I'm always wearing the hot Cheeto girl look. <laughs> Um, I agree with Lexi. Like, I go off for comfort, so I go with what I'm comfortable in. So, like, mm -hmm. jeans, a sweater, tennis shoes, just basic stuff. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good yeah. wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So, do masks affect your fashion choice or what you wear on that day? Um, masks kind of do affect the way or the things that I wear. So whenever I'm at school, I try to wear this mask that I have on right now, where it has, um, you know, Friendship High, FHS, and then kind of more like the color guard, because that's like one of the things that I do, and that's one thing that I find very, you know, I find it really nice that I get to do these things, and I like how um, our school lets us wear masks that are, you know, not just, you know, a boring old plain medical mask, but you get to wear a mask that kind of shows off things that you like. and. I'm not always wearing this mask. Sometimes I just wear a plain black mask whenever I don't have anything to show off or pick out in the morning. I'll just grab it and then run out the door. Yeah, yeah. definitely the same. It's very hard to find a mask that fits me. Like, like the adults can sometimes be too big and the youths can be too small. So for me, I just wear like a plain black one or whatever. It's really not a big deal for me. Um, for me, I just choose to wear a black mask because there's no designs on it or anything that will um, mismatch with what I'm wearing, so black. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I wear the medical mask. I feel like the medical mask, um, they're medical, so basically they're like supposedly one of the best. I honestly don't know. I don't be, I don't not keep up with COVID <laughs> like that. But uh, I do say that masks do affect what you wear because sometimes the medical mask may not go with the colors that you're out, the outfit that you're wearing. Maybe it's too basic and you have this really dressy outfit and you don't like the medical mask with it. So it's about, it's, I think it definitely affects what you wear mm -hmm. on a typical mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, so the next question is, you want to say the question? Um, the next question is, how does the colors that you wear affect your skin tone or how does your skin tone affect the colors that you wear? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I believe wear... that it does. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I believe that it um, does because sometimes um, I feel like a lot of colors don't look good on me. Like I won't wear purple most of the time. I really don't think purple goes with my skin tone. I feel like just doesn't fit. Like I wouldn't wear purple. So mm -hmm. I think it definitely does affect. I know, um, like some colors, I really like to wear, you know, bright and cheery colors. But one color that I think really does work good on or with my skin tone is yellows. Yellows, I think, look very nice, um, you know, with the way that, I guess, just the way that my skin tone was set up and the way how, you know, you can always choose like three different different colors of yellow. There's mustard yellows, light yellows, yellow. neon yellows. Mustard yellow looks so ugly. I like the way that mustard yellow looks. Mustard yellow looks really good to me. I, I like the bright yellow. Bright yellow, mm -hmm. sun bright is, oh. So pretty. Okay. Well, for me, I normally wear like blacks and pinks, like light pastel colors and blacks always are, are, are a go-to for me. When it comes to makeup, I like some of the like more neutral colors, but because I'm so pale, they don't they don't always look good on me. So I kind of have to improvise when it comes to me just being so pale. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Me, I wear like a lot of grays and like dark colors. Mm -hmm. Just like neutral colors. Yeah. That don't really. My dad yeah. says my dad says black is not a real color, but I mean. No, I love. I wear black, black all the time. Mm. So. Yes. Um, with me, I wear a whole bunch of different colors, but I don't wear super bright colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try not to wear super bright colors. So just on, because so that's not. Me. To add on to that, do does like when you wear a color, a specific color on the, that day, does it affect your emotion? Um. I wouldn't say my emotion, but like how I'm feeling that day, kinda, it depends, cause 
Say I'm feeling like, oh, I don't want to dress up for school today. Like, I'll throw on some sweatpants. They'll be black. My shirt will probably be like a jacket. That's oh, yeah, so like your something. mood. So it'll yeah. affect your mood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, because when I'm, like, very dressy, I feel cute. So I'm like, oh, yeah, period. I'm, like, loud, and I'm like, oh, she's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever I'm wearing something, like, a bit more on the cute side, I'll feel a lot more happy. But if I just put on something basic, it's straight up lo looking like I went dumpster diving, then nah. Oh. Then nah, I'm going like to be. That's exactly how I feel right now. now. Then nah. Roll into the closet <laughs> then, right then nah, I'm going to look sad for the rest of the day. Mm. Yes. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty... Pretty like you know, yeah. justifiable thing. Yeah. You like you want to wear things that make you feel comfortable because that's really all that matters. It's not really about you know standards that other people Honestly, think. Honestly, I think I only have like two pairs of sweats. Mm -hmm. Like I am, I'm typically not in that cozy like mood a lot because mm. of basketball and everything. I just like to be comfortable. Like I said, it's and sweatpants are that. So yeah, it's all up to you. It's the like the way that you want to feel and the way that you want you know other people to perceive you as. Because, you know, like some people who always just wear all loud things out doesn't too recommendably like look good all the time. Yeah, um, for, sh for sure. Um, anybody add on to anything? I don't think so. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in to our first edition of What's Poppin'. If you guys liked, tune in to our friendship website. And we will catch you guys next time. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our show. If you like the show, be sure to follow us on the web at friendship.tv and Facebook. We'll see you on the next edition of The Friendship Stop.